Hi guys, and welcome to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. For those of you that don't know what Cataclysm is, it is a survival roguelike based off of primarily a zombie apocalypse, amongst other things. And uh, this is a mod for the original game Cataclysm that has taken off and is in development right now. It is a fantastic roguelike and one of my favorites. Uh, I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail with creation or character creation, world creation. I'm going to just try to dive right in here and get in on the action. And uh, I'll have a link in the description for those that want to play the game. It's completely free and it's awesome. So first thing we're going to do is we need to make our world. And I'm not going to go through these options. I'm not going to go through character traits or anything. Uh, I already have a set idea in mind. Uh, if you'd like to find out what this stuff is yourself, you know, download the game, check it out. So I'm going to enable a couple things here. Uh, we want zombie revivification prevented. And disable religious text just because it's kind of clutter. Nothing against actual religion, I promise. As for world gen options, we're going to leave this mostly uh, default. I'm going to increase the season length to three weeks. That is my preference. I feel like two weeks is a bit short. Anything, you know, four weeks is a bit long. Um, I'm going to turn on wandering spawns. These are just kind of zombie hordes that roam the map. I've never played with them on before, but I'm going to give them a shot. If uh, there's a lot of cheap deaths or something caused by them, then I'll probably disable them, but whatever. Static NPCs will have on because those mostly work now. And why not? Could add some fun. Mutations by radiation we do want. And our world is named Stringer. And I hit the wrong button. Because I don't know how to operate a keyboard. So, there's our world. Uh, we're going to be a stock evacuee. We're going to play pretty vanilla as far as um, creation goes here. Uh, I like a little bit of strength. And some intelligence, because we'll be doing a lot of reading and a lot of punching. Uh, not too concerned with dex or perception, so we're just not going to bother. As far as traits, there are a few gimmies. Ugly, truth teller, and trigger happy. are just kind of, you know, always in the game as far as uh, negative traits to take. As well as heavy sleeper, which I don't feel like is necessarily a negative trait. It's actually quite useful because it's rather easy to wake up. Uh, poor hearing, I'll take that. And I believe there were a few more. Uh, I'm gonna take forgetful just because <laughs> it's it's gonna be a little cheap. I think a lot of you will say it's kind of cheap. Uh, I have Skill Rust disabled. I think Skill Rust is a dumb concept. I've never liked it in games, so I've turned it off. And uh, Forgetful essentially would make Skill Rust worse, but since it's disabled, it's three points. If you hate me and you think it's cheap for doing it, well, I'm sorry. We're probably not going to survive long enough for it to matter anyways, so don't worry. And we've got one point left for a potential uh, negative skills here, but I'm not really sure what exactly um, I would want. Hmm. I don't even know if there's a lot I really can take for, for one point. Moving down the rough terrain will slow you down more. No, I don't think that's something that we want. Clumsy. Don't want that either. We'll just not take our last point. We'll just leave it at that. As far as good traits, um, always want pack mule because I am a pack mule. We want quick. Um, where is we want robust genetics that will increase the likelihood of a mutation being beneficial. So we absolutely want that for sure. Quick just means you're faster. You do more stuff per turn, essentially, which can be life-saving. Pack Mule allows us to carry a lot more, which I carry everything for sure. And I believe... Excuse me there. Fast Reader. Take that. 
That leaves us with four points. My profession, I'm going to just stick with Survivor. Uh, in the past, I have played with uh, Survivalist, which adds some nice starting features, but it's a little generous, and since I'm kind of already cheesing it with Forgetful and Skill Rest turned off, we'll, uh, we'll uncheese it. So we've got four points left to spend on skills. Uh, I'm going to put two points into construction, actually, because there are a few things that I'd like to build right off the bat that would be essential for survival. And speaking of survival, we'll put one point into survival and one point into tailoring. Tailoring allows me to repair, reinforce, and make my clothing fit better, which is actually incredibly useful uh, once we can get settled in and will prevent me hopefully to an extent from tearing my clothes apart trying to do that early on as for my name we are fuzzbutt and uh, I'm actually going to make this a template but this will be kind of my ideal run if this goes poorly and we just die out quickly I'm not gonna keep making identical fuzzbutts um, I'll just stick with random, hopefully. And I'll just keep making random characters and let's see where it goes. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. So, we're dumped into the world. Let's open our map, see where we are. Got a FEMA camp to the south, and I think that's a toxic waste dump, so I don't think we want to be heading there right away. We are in an evac shelter along with another survivor, Catherine Keen. It's like Commander Keen almost, but not quite. And it looks like we've got a town to our north, not too far out. But the first thing I want to do, we'll check here. We've got an emergency jacket and a folded emergency blanket. Um, I'm sure we can sleep on that blanket and the jacket if we need it. Um, for warmth, we have it. We're not doing awful in regards to our current warmth. What do we got? We got a pocket knife, bottle of water, matchbook, we've got jeans, long sleeve shirt, winter coat, a scarf, boots, we're alright. We've got winter clothing on. So let's check the basement here. You can't hardly see, but we can at least have a quick look and see if there's anything in the basement. Uh, world gen options are basically the same as far as city size. A pair of winter boots, a long sleeve shirt, neither of which we really need. And it looks like that's all she wrote for the basement. So, nothing there of interest. Let's step outside and see what's waiting for us. Looks so. We have a helicopter crash here. And we have a newspaper page. I don't think I'll really get much out of that besides newspaper fuel. So we have a whole bunch of rubble here that we don't want to walk on because it will probably wind up hurting us. But sometimes there is useful gear amongst the wreckage. And we can have a look. There's a chunk of steel. A yeah, packed M72 law, which is nice, but um, we don't really need a rocket launcher yet. We need to focus on our other priorities. So we'll just leave that be. I'm actually going to do something quickly. I'm going to smash the bench. I don't seem to be damaging the bench. I wanted to smash this bench in hopes of uh, you know, maybe getting a 2x4 out of it. So I actually have something to carry around. Looks like that's not going to happen. And hey, we've got a vehicle here, and it looks like it's intact. So we've got an armored car here, and it doesn't have gas or batteries, but it does have wheels. Uh, it doesn't have. It's got a mounted M249 turret. Where is the engine? There's the engine. The engine and alternator and battery are all intact. This car works. This car could be ours. It has two M249s on it. But since the security system is damaged, that means we could probably get in it without any hassle. So that is a great find. And uh, 
pretty awesome to have immediately. Unfortunately, we just need to get batteries and gas in it. Uh, diesel is different. This is um, this is the experimental build, by the way, 0 0.B. It's uh, the exact build is 703D730, as you can probably see up there in the uh, the what is that? The, the task, not taskbar, the, the title of this window, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a few experimental builds in. They do multiple builds a day. Um, for the most part, they're pretty stable. Check them out if you want or don't. You know, that's your prerogative. Stable release is always there and adds a lot considering. And we see a zombie somewhere to our north. That's to be expected with all the houses and everything. Unfortunately, that zombie hurt us because he smashed down a window and he's running at us. Yeah, he's coming right for us. Um, I do have a pocket knife. It's not great. Um, it does do some stabbing damage. That's two hit bone. This kind of sucks. I wonder if I can just pick up a rock and just bash him with a rock. It's not really any better than the knife. But I could make a rock and a sock with it. Which would be kind of awesome. However, there is also this survivor here. No. Survivor, go do your thing. There we go. So, Survivor is packing heat. What is this Survivor using for a weapon? Glock 19. That's super. So, did this guy have anything? Cargo pants, which are kind of nice, actually, because they have some storage. Ripped halter top, we don't want. Let's not pick up the corpse. Uh, let me see. Where are my jeans? 10 warmth, 3 protection, 2 storage, and my cargo pants are 1 protection, but 10 storage and 15 warmth. So we will keep those, because we can fit those, so we'll we won't have the uh, encumbrance here. Kathleen is going to town on this coyote, which we will butcher, and we did get some bones. We can eat bones. Sinew we can use for thread. Um, bone. We can actually make a um, a bone needle if we want. And uh, that meat we can cook, and then we can repair our clothing and whatnot with it. It's always a good thing. Uh, I imagine her shooting that gun off probably made some noise, but it may have been far enough away as not to attract zombies, which is always a good thing. So, let's go into this house where the zombie was. It's a can of crispy cranberry. Some delicious soda. Some eye drops, which we probably will never use, but that's alright. We have a fedora. Lovely. Can we tip it? With a nano skirt. Apparently it is even shorter than a uh, than a micro skirt, but I don't think we want that. Undershirt would be good for uh, for warmth, I would feel like. Let's let's grab that. We don't need a French maid outfit, but it does fit us perfectly, and it layers easily, and it's fancy. And really, isn't that what matters the most? And actually, I will take the fedora, <laughs> only because it's warmth. Yep, put that on. Can we activate the fedora? If we did, I can't tell, because the bottom of the message window is cut off, which I will have to adjust. And now there is a Z9 that busted in. I believe that is a... Yes, it is the zombified version of the German Shepherd dogs used in law enforcement. Its deformed body is encased in a protective Kevlar harness. So we're just going to go out this way. Assuming the dog is not chasing us, which it isn't, apparently. I was going to lead them towards the survivor in hopes that uh, she would give them the... Here, dog, come here. All right, 
This dog is probably, yeah, I wanted to leave these guys out. That's all. Where is the survivor? Kathleen shot the crap out of a squirrel. Now I'm just going to run south and hope that Kathleen does not shoot me. Kathleen, friendly fire. Friendly fire, Kathleen. It's nearly dead. Bam. Okay, cool. So we have a Kevlar dog harness here. We can't do anything with it. Unfortunately. But let's butcher the dog. Get some tainted meat out of that. Kathleen is going to shoot the crap out of that tough zombie. Which dropped, let's see, compression shorts, which are mar a hammer. We'll, we'll grab that, actually, and we'll wield that. That can be our weapon for now. It's not fantastic, but it'll have to do. And hopefully... Is Kathleen hurt at all? Hard to tell. That's alright. We're going to follow Kathleen, and she will be our ticket to hopefully goods. I'm trying to find a backpack or something similar, and now she's attracted everybody. That's alright. She's mowing them down. And I'm alright with that. Keep going, Kathleen. And now we've got a zombie cop showing up. Some fat zombies. She's kind of attracted to everybody. Some car somewhere got torn up. We've got nothing useful here. Just a whole bunch of casings. Yeah, a pair of sunglasses, though, actually would be nice. We can wear those. Meanwhile, Kathleen is still laying on the hurt. And we've got all kinds of goodies here. Um, tattered cargo pants, but nothing that fits yet. Kathleen is shooting at a snake when there's a zombie child. Zombie child just got decimated there. Uh, peanut butter candies. We'll take some food. We can eat it. Why not? I think Kathleen is finally out of bullets, so now has just resulted, resorted to, uh, you know, bashing on things, so we might as well help as best we can, because why not? And now we have a fat zombie here, we'll help with that. I got hit in the leg, and the head, but now it's dead. And we don't need torn up clothing for now. We will eventually, my uh, my priorities right now are going to be um, food and water, obviously warmth, safety, shelter, all that stuff. We'll let Kathleen run off this way because now that she's taking care of all that stuff, uh, I should be able to raid this house. If I can get a pot or a pan, immensely useful. The main reason I wanted, by the way, to have construction skill right off the bat was because I wanted to build a stone fireplace. And once I have a fireplace built, I can use that for cooking. And more importantly, I can use it for um, uh, boiling water and cleaning it. And we have a backpack. Excellent. So I'm going to put that on. And it does encumber me quite a bit, but we have a lot more storage now. So I'm going to focus pretty much on ooh, panties that fit. Excellent. Keep my nethers warm. I will take some books. We can read books to level up skills, which is always important. And we have a zombie necromancer there. I don't think it sees me, but close those windows and, and hope that, you know, hope that we can be anonymous while we loot this house. Neoprene arm sleeves are also good for warmth. Uh, what do we got here? We got some nails. That'll be good for construction. A box of toastums. 
again. Good for uh, good for food. We got some food here. Frying pan and a pot. Excellent. Those are two things that we very much wanted. Dust mask. Don't need that. Thread. We definitely want that. And the necromancer has apparently broken into the house. So we really don't have much of a choice but to kind of... Let's hope we can kill it. We might die because we have crap skill and we're very encumbered. Maybe I can run? There is a basement. No, he's catching up to me. Now I'm in pain. Kathleen has just run off into town because she's crazy like that. If we can get him stuck in a bush. How injured is he? He's lightly injured. We're not doing so great, though. I'm in a lot of pain. The result of that being I'm much slower than usual. Can I can I wield like this frying pan? It's not or the pot. Hmm. What's my hammer again? Eight damage, eighty-two moves per attack. Ten damage, one hundred twenty. No, it's not. We don't want that. So I'm just gonna hope that I can wail on this this dude before he kills me. But with my pain and my speed as it is, I am probably not gonna make it. So we'll just. Yep. I figured I'd try and I failed miserably, but that's just the way Cataclysm goes. Um, yeah, if only I could get a 2x4 and some nails, make a nail pad or something. Last words. Meh. Kathleen, why would you forsake me? Fits perfectly. So, yeah, we suck. We killed a zombie. And we kind of even didn't do that. That was all Kathleen. So yeah, there you have a uh, typical game of Cataclysm. I'm not great at the game, but I do love it. I play it all the time. And uh, I mean, I'll stop the video here. Just this kind of an introduction to Cataclysm. I'll adjust my terminal a little bit, my other settings and all that junk. And uh, yeah, when I get back, we'll, we'll just make a random character, dump them in the world, and we'll see what happens with it. And if the randoms don't last long, we can always go back and we can make another fuzz butt and see what happens with that. But thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time on...